It was good to shake someone's hand again. All right. Good to see you. Let's have a seat, shall we? Let's. Yes, I find the introductions here rather uh, unceremonious. Mm. Quite. I guess you just get used to it after a while. Mm. Quite. <laughs> oh, the uh, traffic out there was absolutely awful. Six lanes funneling into a one-lane tunnel. Must have been an accident or something. Oh. Oh. And it's a strange thing, too. I had a nightmare just like it the other night. See it? I was trapped in a prison cell with a barrel of green peas and a straw. <laughs> now I was starving, so I had to suck the peas through the straw to survive. It was quite a terror. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you, uh, see that woman over there? She was sitting there when I came in. We work for the same company, different departments. You see, the thing is, she's a little odd. <laughs> How so? Well, at the last mother's party, we started dancing very slowly with very fast music. <laughs> it was strangely arousing. <laughs> I see. Well, anyway, we know why we're here. We do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What the hell? <laughs> Actually, I've got you a little something. Really? No, you shouldn't have. Ah, oh, this. This is great, but I haven't got you anything. No. But still. Open it. Well, if you insist. Happy birthday, sir. Oh, no, no. It's a Christmas present. A Christmas present? Oh. <laughs> because today it is... <coughs> and you two are from... Right, right. Um, I just... Uh, I... I... <laughs> I guess Christmas hasn't really caught on here. I guess not. But we won't let it spoil our fun. Not a bit. Go on then. <laughs> How thoughtful. I thought you'd like it. It reminds me of home. Well, that was the intention. You know, living here, it can be hard to get into Christmas earth. I know what you mean. I've been here for a while now, and I try my best every year. Actually, I still remember- Let's go! <laughs> Actually, I still remember my first white Christmas back at home, quite vividly. I just turned 12, and I was dead excited when I looked out my window and I saw my garden blanketed in white, I rushed on my scarf and my coat. Before I knew it, I was outside, packing soft snow into snowball chips. So cold they hurt my hands to hold. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I may have been more naive back then, but I wasn't so afraid to live and have fun. Nowadays, I'm bound by responsibilities. Take criticism too harshly. <laughs> And, well, I guess I'm just less curious than I used to be. Maybe I should take advice off my 12-year-old self more often. Uh, uh, don't you find, as you get older, and with living here, uh, 
become more pessimistic about Christmas, as well as most things. Yeah, I just, I guess that's what happens. Well, but then again, at Christmas you can get away with being a little nostalgic. Ah, uh, it's just a shame my family don't live so close anymore. I can't say it's been fun upholding these traditions on my own. Oh, what traditions do your family have? Well, every Christmas Eve, after Excuse me, sir. Ready to hold that? Uh, I'll just have the, uh, uh, a beer and a chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. And I will have the, let me see here. Oh. Is it something good? Mm -hmm. How about the trout? I will have the no. no. I'll have the same. The game? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, the game is not on tonight. No, no, the same. Hmm? The same. The same what? The same as him. Ah. <laughs> What was that again? A beer and a chicken sandwich. sandwich. Right, right. Beer and sandwiches coming right up. Strange. Quite. So anyway, every Christmas Eve. Ah, yes. Every Christmas Eve, after a simple dinner, my family and I would allow ourselves to no. just... No! Is that you? From marketing? Oh, hi there. Hi. Hi there. Teresa. Teresa. How did you get? Well, it must be a year since I've seen you around the office. Well, that's the funny thing, you see. So I was with the sales lot on the fourth floor, right? But then when a bunch of newbies came in, well, some of us had to show them the ropes, so we had to go up to the twelfth floor with them. And then the rest of us stayed on the fourth floor, and honestly, it was absurd. I see. <laughs> but anyway, I came over because I couldn't help but hearing your problems with the waiter. <laughs> I came here once and I ordered the salmon. No, I didn't. I ordered the trout. I ordered the trout and you would not believe it. He brought out the wrong thing. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was appalled. <laughs> I said my order very slowly and very clearly to that waiter, but no, the wrong thing. Oh, that's terrible. And really, but... the spoon he brought was too small. How is anyone supposed to eat starter soup with a spoon that is too small? Quite honestly, I think the two of you would be better off having your lunch somewhere else. Well, in actual fact, the, the food's not all that important to us. You see, we're only here because it's Christmas. We're trying Christmas. to- Christmas! It's Christmas, that's right. So that means you two are from, right, right, okay. Oh, Christmas this, Hanukkah that, Thanksgiving. I just cannot keep up with it all. Mm. But let me tell you, my brother will find any excuse to celebrate. Well, actually, I was telling Noel here a little story about Christmas, if you'd like to hear. Well, sure. That'll be delightful. I'll just go fetch a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. What? Madam, I cannot have Rosa Maria from the kitchen what you say about the service here. <laughs> no, there's anything I can do. Well, as a matter of fact, there is. As you heard, I was quite upset by what happened to me. So as I was saying. If yes. there's anything I can do, madame, we here at Café oh, des Anges will be middle. pleased to accommodate our wishes. Actually, now that you mention it, <laughs> last time I was here... Well, I for don't... a start, a few drinks on the house wouldn't go amiss. I ordered a Tom Collins, but you brought me out a Bloody Mary. I didn't want to make a just, of it Just time. a minute, sir. <laughs> Madam, you are right to complain, and I am sure we can accommodate your wishes. So, now we can offer you a drink as a way of saying sorry for the world ordeal? Well, if there's any, excuse me, there's a few drinks on the house, because, I mean, this is an expensive restaurant, and it's going to take a little more than a few drinks on the house. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my Hear a little story about Christmas. But no, you're all too wound up in your own little dialogues. So just shut up and listen. 
every Christmas Eve. <laughs> After a simple dinner, my family and I would allow ourselves to open just one present. That was our tradition. On this particular occasion, I was nine, and my present was a padlock. <laughs> a padlock? Ah, a padlock. Can you imagine a poor young boy opening a padlock on Christmas Eve? My brother and sister got wonderful presents. A remote control car for him. A new watch for her. Anyway, the next morning I wake up, I run into the living room, and you know what I find? A bike. A brand new, beautiful bike, just for me. It was all part of their delicious plan. <laughs> Can you believe it? I couldn't. It was a Christmas fucking miracle! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 